Hello everybody, in this video we're going to take a look at Plex Media Server and how to port forward it. Now the reason you might want to do that is if you are on the go at a hotel for example and you fancy watching some of your content that is at home, assuming your server is turned on and assuming you have the Plex app on one of your devices like a phone or tablet then you are able to watch the content on the go. So. To do that, you need to load up your Plex Media Server and over to Settings on the left and then it's Remote Access just underneath General. You click the button that says Enable Remote Access, which for some reason didn't work just then. It's going to try and contact but it will fail because I haven't configured anything. So we've got our private IP address of our server. That needs to be a static address, it can't change, so make sure your Plex server has a static IP address. And then you've got your public IP address here, which I'm going to blank out, and the ports that they're using, 32400 and 32400. That's on the internal and the external. So for some reason, I had to click the tick box, manually specify the public port to get this to work. I'm not actually sure why. So we tick that box, we'll leave it on the default. If you want to change it, then you can if you so wish, but we're gonna stick with that number. And all it is as a case of now is going to your router and then opening that port so it's externally accessible. So we're gonna do that now. All right, we're in front of our router. All we need to do is log in. We need to find the port forwarding section, which for me is network firewall and port forwards. So let's make a new port forward and give it a name. I will start with Plex. <laughs> the protocol will be TCP. The external port will be 32400, what we were just given off our media server. Make sure you use that one. And the internal port must stay the same. Don't bother changing that one. It won't work. Uh, let's just find our media server, which is running on that NAS box add the port forward and apply it. So that's updating the router now. And in theory, if we go back to our server and hit retry, we should get, oh, and it's disabled the remote access, fantastic. So let's enable the remote access. And we should get green across the board. There we go, fully accessible outside your network. So I'll show you what it looks like on a phone. Here we are in front of the iPhone SE. The image is a little bit wonky and slightly out of focus. So apologies for that, but we will proceed anyway. We're just going to launch the Plex app. Now we're still on Wi-Fi at my house. So let's just disable that for now and hop over to 4G if you can see that in the top. Let's choose a film and hit the play button, which will now buffer over the internet. There we go, the film has started. And there we have it. Nothing too tricky today. That's how you port forward your Plex Media server. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.